Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Pearl. I'm a friend, your host Roy. You know we are talking about series 1 where we are discussing real numbers. This is episode number 13. Today's topic, friends, finding LCM using prime factorization. Let's dive in. Now, earlier we have seen fundamental theorem of arithmetic, what is meant by fundamental theorem of arithmetic, and then we saw that fundamental theorem of arithmetic directly leads into prime factorization. So today we are going to learn how do we use how do we use prime factorization to find out LCM? Quick recap, LCM is a short form for lowest common multiple. That means um, smallest number that can be divided into by all the given numbers. So let's take an example. It's always easy when we take an example and then discuss these concepts. So for example, if I have 10, 12, and 25, randomly picking some numbers like we always do, so if I say that I want to find out LCM of 10, 12, and 25, what do I mean? It means I'm trying to find out such a number, which is somewhere out here, somewhere uh, there. Uh, and, you know, let's just call this number ABC. We don't know what the value of ABC is. But it is such a number that can be divided by each of these numbers. So I can do ABC divided by 10, and I will have no remainder, remainder 0. I can also do ABC divided by 12 and again it will fully divide into there will be no remainder and I can do ABC divided by 25 and again there will be no remainder. So smallest such number that can actually be completely divided by 10, 12 and 25. That is what is meant by LCM. So how do we use prime factorization to find LCM? Let's find out. So the first step is find prime factors for each of the numbers. So 10, 12, 25, if these are our numbers, then we have to first find out prime factors for each of the numbers. And then we have to multiply the highest power of each prime factor that appear in all of the given numbers. So we have to pick the highest power of each prime factor that appears in all of the given numbers. If we do that, if we find out the product, that product is going to be the LCM. So friends, again, it's always easy if we take some examples. Um, how about we start with the same example? So let's do this. Um, if our numbers are 10, 12, and 25, what is the LCM of these numbers? So we are trying to find out the LCM. LCM for 10, 12, and 25. So let's see. Now, so first we have to find our prime factors. So 10 can be written as 2 times 5. 12 can be written as 4 times 3. 4 can be written as 2 times 2. Right? 25 can be written as 5 times 5. At this point, we have all the prime factors. So, let's write it this way. So, 10, I can write this as 2 times 5. 12, I can write this as 2 times 2 or we can say 2 square. So 2 times 2 times 3 and for 25 we can write this as 5 times 5 which is 5 square. So what will be the LCM? LCM is a product of highest power of each prime factor that appears in all of the given numbers. So, we are looking to first of all find out every single prime number. So, what are the prime numbers that appear? So, I have 2 that appears in 10. It also appears in 12, appears in, it does not appear in 25, which is fine because I am trying to find out every single prime number that appears and the highest power. I am not looking to find out a common factor. We did that using uh, when we were looking at HCF. Here I am trying to list out every single prime factor that appear in all of them. So I have 2, then here I have also 3, 
3 and then I have also 5. So these are all the prime factors. So I have 2 appearing in 10. I have you know 3 appearing in 12 as well and I have uh, 5 appears in 25 and 5. So I'm going to list out all the prime factors that appear in them combined right and I'm looking for the highest power. So here uh, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2. So the highest power of the fact prime number 2 is power 2. Then what about for 3? 3 appears only in 12 when it is power 1 so highest power is 1 and 5 appears here which is power 1 for 10 and power 2 in 25 so I have to use the highest power which is power 2. So if you multiply that so now 2 to the 4 times 3 times 5 5 is a 25. So 25 4 is a 100 times 3 is 300. So the LCM for this is 300. So friends it means that 300 is the smallest number that each of these numbers can divide into. So if you do that, if you, you will notice that even 600, 900 are all numbers where 10, 20, 10, 12, 25 can divide into, but 300 is the smallest such number where each of these numbers can divide into. Let's take maybe one last example before we wrap up. And now we will probably take, um, let's do something like uh, maybe, let's take a little bit larger numbers and we'll probably take two numbers. So maybe 3, 0, 6. Let's take this as one number. And for the other number, let us take something like maybe, you know, um, how about 22? Just randomly pick two numbers. So now for this number, let's try to find out the prime factors first. Now this number can divide by, uh, we can divide by 3. Why? Because remember divisibility for 3 you can have uh, if the sum of the digits is divisible so 3 plus 0 plus 6 is 9 divisible by 3 that means the number will be divisible by 3 so 3 1 0 2 and then this can be divided by 2 times 5 1 and 51 can be divided by I think it is 17 times 3 right and these are all the prime factors and for 22 we have 2 times 11 so if you write down the prime factors so 306 can be expressed as um, I have uh, let's see what all I have I have got 3 I have 2 and then I have these two numbers right all the prime factors so I have a 2 I'm trying to write them in the ascending order. I have 3 and I have 17. So there is only 1, 2 here. So 2 to the power 1. 3, I have got 1 and 2 3s. So 3 to the power 2 and there is 1, 17, power 1. Now for 22, for 22, I have got 2 to the power 1 times 11 to the power 1. So now when I'm trying to find out LCM, lowest common multiple, remember I'm trying to list every single prime factor that appears in these two numbers. So what are the prime factors that appear in 306? Well, I have got 2, I have got 3, I have got 17. Similarly, in 22, I have got 2, so 2 is covered and then I have got 11. So these are all the prime factors that appear in 306 and 22. Now we are looking for the highest power. So in both cases for the prime factor, prime uh, number uh, or you know the factor 2, I have got the power, maximum power is 1. For 3, I have got power 2. 17 power is 1, highest power for 11 power is 1. So essentially the LCM of these two numbers the LCM for these two numbers will be the LCM is equal to so 2 times 3 3 is a 9 
10, 17, 11. I'm not going to multiply this, but if you multiply this and whatever you are going to get, that will be the LCM for these two numbers.